welcome back to my series of videos about using Obsidian Mobile for iPad or iPhone. In my last video, I gave a brief introduction to Markdown on this platform, and I gave a bit of an overview about using the touch menu to be able to add Markdown elements. Um, I had a comment actually in response to that video asking to explore the touch interface in a little bit more detail. So I will do that in this video. I think that's a valid comment. The next thing I will do is I will use uh, the same note that I used in my last video, but I will use the touch menu and some of the different uh, elements to edit them. So we can actually see how we can use the markdown uh, options, a bit like rich text, Right now I'm on the screen record mode on my iPad and I'm just going to take the note that I had from last time and show you how to use the touch menu to add markdown elements to your markdown notes. So I'm going to make this into a heading one. I just need to go anywhere on that heading and if I go to the heading icon, I'm using a mouse but you can use a finger. In fact, in fact it's a little bit easier using a mouse. So I'm going down to the heading icon, I'm going to choose heading one, and then I'm going to go to the other countries and I'm going to change those into heading twos. I'm going to click on heading two. I could change that into a head, no heading. I'm going to change that into a heading two and I'm going to do that for all of the other countries, just like I did using the keyboard last time. And now I am going to select those items and I'm going to change those into a bulleted list. And I will do that by selecting them. I could do that with a mouse or with my finger and then clicking or selecting the, the bulleted list option. And I am going to set up a numbered list and I'll select them and I will choose the numbered list option. See how it puts them down as one on each item. Now, if we go into the preview mode, it has them in sequence. Let's go back to the markdown mode and we'll look at another couple of things that we can do. I'm gonna select hamburger, I'm gonna make it bold. Now, if the text is selected and we tap on bold, it will toggle it between it being in bold and not being in bold. And we can preview what we've done and we notice that the text is in bold. And I can choose milkshake and I'm going to make that italic now. In my last video, I said that you would have an underscore before and after the text that you want to be italicized and it will turn it into italics and that will work. But I didn't mention that a single asterisk will also do the same thing. And to confirm that it does it like that, when we preview, it is italic. And I am going to add a block quote now. So as long as you're anywhere in the line and if you tap on the block quote icon, it will turn that line of text into a block quote for you. Now let's say we want to have a highlight. I didn't really explore highlights. I am going to just turn that into a normal text. And with any of these, markdown elements. If you make a mistake, you can toggle them off and on. But you can also just delete the syntax using the on-screen keyboard or an external Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, either of those will work just as well. I'm going to select France. I am going to tap on highlight. It will put two equal signs before the text and two equal signs after the text. And we can have our highlighted text. Now, I do believe that there are some plans to make a what you see is what you get editor for Obsidian that will make it a bit more like the rich text editors that you get in word processors such as Microsoft Word. Um, to be honest, I don't mind typing in Markdown and I do think it's worth persevering and learning the simple syntax. But let's say you're a person that doesn't like living in the world of remembering codes and syntax it is useful to know that there is a touch menu that you can go through and create your 
headings and your lists and your bold and your italics and your block quotes and your highlights. So that's my recap for what we've covered using the touch menu for Markdown today. If you like what you've seen, please comment to give feedback. Please like, subscribe and click on the notification button to get uh, news of new videos. And seeing as it's the summer holidays, I'm hoping to release a new video every few days or at least once a week. So enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.